They went to the chapel and they went and got married and she's gonna scrap their picture today. And now for that famous scrapbooker you've all been waiting for, Terry the Matchmaker Rice. Now that's very funny. I don't think I've ever matched up anybody, but he has. <laughs> He hooked up his brother with our sister-in-law <laughs> now. Okay, I am back to do the companion page to the wedding picture I did yesterday. I mean the day before. And this is, this. she's got a really big family so I think half, well at least half of these are her brothers and her sisters. And then it's his sister, my niece, and my nephew. So, okay, so I'm gonna put this again. This is, I didn't show you the beautiful paper. It looks like a, um, I wanna say it's like a greenhouse type place. And it looks like this is where the reception would be held, except for I'm going to actually do the reception on a different collection altogether. So, I'm going to put this, oh, let's see, I want to, I want to have, be able to see a lot of that there. So I'm going to kind of put it lower on the page. And I gotta make sure this is straight because I tilt it tilt it by accident all the time. Okay, and let's see, two and a half and two and a half. Yeah, right there's the center. And this one will not get a title because I put the title on the other page because this is gonna be the companion page. And I've got these Remember the chairs here, so I'm going to cover those up. And i got to remember which flowers I had where. I think it's going to be like this. I think that will do it. And these are the, well this one's a piece I cut from the, the front page cut apart. And is this one too? Yep. Okay. And I'm just placing it so you don't see the chairs. And then there's these beautiful swans. I really love them. And I know my mom's wedding cake had um, swans on it. And through the years she left me play with them until I eventually probably broke them. <laughs> Sometimes you'd have things it's like little knickknacks and stuff that it's like she would let me play with and eventually they were gone. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull this off here. Remember how I got these on Amazon and they were a great deal. They're just a little harder to peel the, this little cover off than I like. But as I always say, you can't have everything. Where would you put it? Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of a dimensional behind the behind the swan heads. So I'm going to use the smaller ones and I'm going to cut it like I do when I'm making doing the butterflies. So I'm just cutting these smaller ones in half. And let's see. Will this one fit here? Okay, that will work. And let's see what I need for over here. OK, 
Okay, that should do it. And I think I'm going to put a couple of these small ones here, here, and here. We'll see if these little squares are a little easier to pull the paper off. That went pretty well. Okay, that one came up easy. Uh, hopefully these little half pieces come up well. Okay, come off of here. Makes me wonder if I should have pulled them off before I even put them on. Okay. There we go. Okay, and I'm putting this right down here at the bottom. Putting it a little closer to this one side so that they don't blend in so much with the white flowers that are right here. Okay. And then I am putting Okay, one of these florals. Okay, I gotta make sure I stay in. I think um, I moved my camera a little bit. Now I gotta watch where it's at. Okay, and again, I turned the flowers the way that it looks like they would go. And to me, it looks like this. And I'm gonna overlap the corner again. And then I have candles again, like I put it on the other one. And I'm going to tuck this underneath here just a little bit. And I might stick a little dimensional behind there. Let's see if I can just do that right now. Okay, so I will take and just lift up a little bit. Oops. Oh, it stuck, stuck on me and not the candle. I, I got this thing. Get out of there. Okay. So I'm just going to lift this up and stick that underneath there. There we go. And then I have the wedding rings again. And these, I'm going to put some glue on. The bride and groom, um, I showed them that I was scrapbooking the pages. And they're like, oh, we really like it. So that's special. Okay. So I'm just going to overlap the flowers and the candles there. And I'll probably stick a couple more dimensionals underneath there. Okay, and just like yesterday, I'm going to add the snowflakes because we were there in January. There was a little bit of snow, but it wasn't bad or anything. And it was, the weather was actually surprisingly nice. Oh, and today... You know, I'm in Indiana, and my sister lives in Wisconsin, along with these two. And, well, these, well, all these people, probably. <laughs> and anyway, it's like, I like to look up what the weather is there sometimes, like where my sisters are, because I have one in Texas, and then the one in Wisconsin. Okay, and I usually pick a direction that I want the snowflakes to go. And I'm going to actually tuck it underneath there just a little bit. So I'll probably end up having to put a dimensional there. Okay. And then I'm going to stick these two over here. So I was looking to see what their weather was there. And 
it's like I'm kind of I would say I'm a little more I'm not like completely southern Indian it's kind of south central Indiana is that what you call us yes so I'm kind of south central and anyway it's like it was 21 degrees when I checked and it was 21 degrees in Wisconsin except for their wind chill was six degrees and ours was five so I thought that was something how close are because I mean it's a good five and a half hours from where we are so you think that it would have been a lot warmer here but nope okay and I'm gonna put this one oh let's see about here oh I forgot my leaves Okay, so I'm going to add, I'm going to use glue here, and that one I want right about there, and then the burgundy leaf, I want just there. And this one I'm going to let overlap the picture. And again, I'm, I might stick some dimensionals right underneath there. Lots of times they get all done and then when I glue it down I decide where they, where I need like a little dimension because it's, or dimensional because it's flipping up anyway. Okay, so then I'm going to add the Winka Stella. Oh, and I, I turned that and I guess it doesn't need it. Okay. Let's see if it's just writing today. Yep, it is. Okay. You know, I'm new to using this, but I loved how it looked yesterday. And I actually went over it again after I took the pictures and it brought out, you know, more of the sparkle. And it's really pretty. I really like it. It's just kind of a nice little touch and it's not crazy like glitter. I mean, it's like, you know, you use glitter once and then you're reliving the day, every, you know, every now and then. It's like, it just shows up, you know, it's like, I'll be doing, it's like, we've had a reno and everything since I used glitter. <laughs> And once in a while, the glitter still shows up. I think it's hilarious. Okay, and so yes, or it was the day before actually. Um, I did the rings. And I did the snowflakes. And, I mean, in person you can see this really well. And hopefully you can see it. And I went around and did like the edges and where and the front area of the rings. And I did the snowflakes and I love how it looked. Okay, I'm gonna not get my sleeve in that. I got them one of my warmest sweatshirts. I don't wanna be wearing glitter every time I wear it. <laughs> I don't know if it'd be the same. Okay. And then you just give the pen a little bit more of a squeeze if you think it's slowed down at all. Now this one's a little harder because it's the wood's pretty spread out. It's like uh, it kind of wanna, wants to fall in between. But still pretty good control. And I was going to use it two other times where it's like I just chickened out. <laughs> now, you'll be seeing me use it more often now. I really like it. And they were selling them out. I wish I would have bought an extra one.
And I know there's other sparkly things out there. I need to maybe try a different one. I like the control of the pen. That's nice. But I'd be just happy with a little brush, too. If okay, so I've got it done one time. And then um, once this dries, I'll probably go for one more time. Okay, and... I used gold yesterday for my enamel dots, so I'm going to use them again today. So I've got one, two, three, four, five things is what I'm counting over here. So I think I will do four. Because that way I keep the odd number. Oh, stuck in my nail. Okay. And we've got one, two, three, four things here. So if I do three, I think I'm going to put this down here. If I do three, that keeps my odd number. Maybe here. Oh, hope I'm not dragging my shirt what did I say I had one two three four things so that's an odd number or maybe I'll do I think I'm going to do a couple more I keep the odd number. Where do I want that? Okay, I think that's good there. Whoops. All right. So that's it for today. So I'll be sending another picture off to them, and I will have um, close-ups at the end. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.